guys, back to reality. <laughs> We're just going to start off with the bare face, eyes prepped, brows done. Y'all know the drill with that. You know. Okay, so anyways, we're going to be going in with Beaches and Cream because this is the perfect transition shade. It's the perfect neutral. So now we're going to be going in with Petal Pusher and we're just going to be focusing, focusing, <laughs> putting this all over pretty much, honestly, just following that outer V and then deepening it up in the middle, but just keep adding it as you go. So now we're going with, in with Wisteria with that same brush that we've been using as the M433, I'm pretty sure. If not, I'll have all the details down below in the description box or on the screen. Y'all know what's up when I upload it, okay? <laughs> so just put that into your crease and then bring it upwards so you have that nice flow of purple going in. So now spray this tiny little brush with Fix Plus or you can use water, just anything to really get that color payoff. And you're just going to be packing this color onto your lids. Yes, you can use a different base or if you have a purple creamy shadow to put that on first and then top that off with this one. That'll be easier, but I didn't have that, so you gotta do what you gotta do. So what I'm doing is doing like a semi-circle of my lid and making that nice and covered my lid and making it nice and opaque. And then let those babies dry and then pack your brush with that same color. And I realized I needed a more smaller, fluffier brush, but just smaller. Same kind of concept, just really small. This brush is a freaking game changer. I do not have it on hand to tell y'all the exact number, but I will have it in the description box down below. I promise you I will put it in there because this brush makes this whole look worth it, and I'm pretty sure it's like five bucks, so don't worry about that, guys. So go ahead and go in with the M433 again and just blend everything out. Keep on packing on the color to make sure everything is nice and opaque. Yes, it looks a little bit crazy right now, but this is why we go in with Petal Pusher to really blend everything out. So in my Instagram look, I actually used Wisteria and Petal Pusher, but I guess I had a really bad roadblock and did not do that here. So just use a little bit more of Wisteria to give it more of that light purple look. But Petal Pusher is going to be your main transition shade just to make everything nice and blendable and doesn't look crazy okay <laughs> so now we're gonna be going in with nyx glitter glue this is the main the main homie this is the one that makes this glitter pop in stick not move anywhere and you won't be looking crazy um i forgot to mention make sure to clean up your fallout there's gonna be lots of fallout so be prepared that's why i'm not wearing foundation so now we're gonna be using this uh glitter by nyx in violet i'm pretty sure that's the name if not, I'll have everything up there, but look at it. It's so beautiful. It's seriously like the perfect purple and it's holographic. It's, oh, uh, I feel like the camera does not do it justice. I'm not even kidding. Like in person, I can blind you. That's how pretty it is. <laughs> so just pack that on. And this brush is like your finger. Honestly, I'll have the name of the brush. I'm so sorry. I'm not at home right now. So I am making do because I'm trying to get a video out for y'all. I'm making things happen, people. So now, after we have all that done, just go ahead and grab some translucent powder. This is my little trick that I'm doing. It's so that when you try to brush it off or wipe it off, it doesn't stick to your skin. So this helps get that excess powder off, and then you go in with the wipe and get that translucent powder off your face. All that, yes. Work it, work it. Ooh, double chin. Yes, girl. Yes. All right, we're finally done. <laughs> so moving on, I'm going to be bronzing my face with N NYX. This is not NYX. This is Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. This stuff is amazing. It smells like coconuts. I feel like I don't need perfume because I smell like coconuts, and I smell good when I have this on. Okay, but let's be honest. I need perfume. I'm a stinking lady. So anyways, moving on, I'm using the Kat Von D, uh, those two left colors on the bottom, and just deepening up that contour. And then I'm going to be going with the more grayish toned one to really deepen the contour up. Uh, the reason I'm using the more grayish tone because this color is a lot more cool tone than what I usually go for. I'm usually using um, lots of browns, reds, just a lot warmer colors. So I really like this whole goal for this look was cool tone. And I already did on Instagram and lots of people were asking for it. I'm so sorry it took me forever to film it, but I've been going around like crazy i'm in the process of moving but i will have videos out for you i promise all right so moving on we're going to be using glow girl by oh my gosh brain fart over cosmetics with the collaboration with dupe that this freaking highlighter is insane i am not a fan of pinky highlighters but i feel like 
this pinky highlighter with this M310 brush. Oh my gosh, freaking bomb, 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 bomb. It's so good. Do you see that? Yes, girl. Yes, you better work. Oh, yes, honey. Yes. Mm, mm. Give it to me. Give it to me. Uh, uh, uh. All right. <laughs> so I'm going to be going with Petal Pusher again and going into my under eyes since I've obviously already put on foundation, all that jazz. Uh, Y'all have already seen me do that, and I have a foundation routine, so take a look out on that one. So now we're going to be going in with that deep purple again. And this is the Anastasia self-made palette, by the way. Sorry if I forgot to mention that. But just put that on your under eyes and then clean up your brows. This is buttery that I'm using right under my brow bone. So everything is nice and cohesive. And right now I'm just going to be blending those two purples together. I was using pretty sure Petal Pusher to blend them all together. Because I'm going to be going with glitter under my eyes also. So the main thing with the glitter is you want to pack it in kind of in the inner corner and then drag the excess glitter glue out. That's the whole point because if you just have it nice and blotchy, the glitter is going to look nice and blotchy. So make sure you kind of like drag it, like blend the glitter glue out if that's making any sense to y'all. But do not forget your upper eyelid also. And once we have that done, just clean up that bake so you can look nice and flawless. And then, oh girl, get your keys right. Uh, After that, I'm just going to be... Curling my lashes, yes. These are Armour by Coco Lashes. I believe they're $8. I know they're a little bit pricey for some of you guys, but I just, these lashes are amazing. All Coco Lashes are amazing. They're worth it. They're reusable. Just take the glue off. You're good to go. So now I'm just going to be adding some extra highlighter because I'm extra. Y'all know that. <laughs> and then I'm going to be using Staten Island as my lip color by Ofer Cosmetics. Over Cosmetics are my favorite liquid lipstick formula ever. They're comfortable. They stay on forever. Good to go. We are done. So now just apply Fix Plus onto your face. And that is the finished look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what else y'all want to see because I will do it for you. And please let me know like right away because I am moving and I want to get videos that y'all want to see right away. All right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Love you guys. Bye. See ya.